guys, Silverplate22 here, bringing you my review of Inform Graham Zussi. Now, you might be thinking, why on earth have you picked Graham Zussi out of this team of the week to review? Well, he's actually one of my favourite players to look at in real life. I think he's a fantastic player in the MLS. And the only other player I'd actually consider using would probably be Opara, the centre-back. And I wasn't desperately keen on using a centre-back this time. Um, there was a Brazilian left mid, but I've tried his non-inform before and I really don't like him. I don't know why, but I might I might get around to trying his inform at some point. But let's get straight into having a look at Graham Zussi. And he has some really cool stats. Sorry, before we do, though, today is a good day because I am finally, well, it's going to be about a week from now, but I am finally going to get super fast fiber, which is amazing because at the minute we're running on about three meg internet speed, which is just shocking, okay? Anyway, 67 pace, 70 dribbling, 78 shooting, 60 defending, 70 physical, 81 passing, 81 passing is class. Obviously, that 67 uh, pace is pretty poor and will put an awful lot of people off. He's got the three-star scale moves and four star weak foot as you can see here with his um his mental and physical attributes obviously they're not the greatest if we're being totally honest they're all yellows or greens pretty much but you know you're looking through them and only really stamina and attacking positioning stands out but when we get into skill attributes that's where he starts to shine a little bit more excellent curve decent crossing decent finishing 90 shot power with that 82 long shots is awesome that's something that i'm going to be looking at uh, he can play left wing, left mid, cam, uh, sorry, centre mid or right mid. He's got high, high work rates. So getting straight into it, I know a lot of people, as I said, are not going to go anywhere near this guy. And he was almost at discard price on the first day because of that horrible, horrible speed on a left midfielder or a left winger or a left forward. Well, to be honest, I, I it was noticeable, as it always would be, because he is slow. And that is something that you're going to you're gonna feel, okay? If you are the sort of player that only uses pace, don't even think about buying Zussi. Because you can't just play lob three balls to him all the time. If you're the sort of player that has a more well-rounded game, uses things like dribbling, passing, crossing, Zussi could be the man for you. He is so cheap. I saw him going for 6k at one point, and... He is absolutely really good. His long shots are excellent. His crossing's fantastic. That curve makes, like, his crossing and shooting so much more... I don't know, so much more accurate because he's curling them into the top corners and he's curling those crosses onto someone's head all the time. Dribbling, although it doesn't look that good in uh, sort of in-game and card stats, his dribbling was very, very good. I actually really, really enjoyed it. Not the strongest... But kind of poor in the air, not the most agile, not the greatest balance. But to be honest, I didn't really notice those things. The, you know, if you just adapt to his play style, you are going to get a really, really useful player who, yeah, yeah, he might be a bit slow, but no one else is going to use him. And you're going to be able to take advantage of a player who actually is a little bit of a hidden gem. He never runs out of energy. He's up and down the pitch. And I keep saying he's slow. But to be honest, anywhere near 70 speed isn't unusable, I personally think. And I've given this guy an 8.2 out of 10. I really, really, really enjoyed him. And the only reason I haven't put him higher is literally just because of that pace. If this guy had about 75 pace, maybe even 80, I think this guy will be one of my favourite players on the game. It is just that pace that's letting him down a little bit. But that 78 shooting and 81 passing is absolutely awesome. I feel like he feels like a 74 to a 78 rated. 15 to 30k I think would be a fair price. Although I can't see him going much above this card. Because as I say, people only look at pace on cards a lot of the time. And that's it guys really. I really enjoyed him. Can't complain at all. And as I say, I've just, you know, I've just ordered my super fast fiber. 3 meg is what we're on at the moment. With like a 0.6 upload speed. So I'm expecting to be able to put out better content, quicker content. You know, I have to spend less time thinking about uploading and stuff, which I'm really happy about. I'd love to know what is your internet speed at home. I'd love to know what's the sort of average amongst people. And also, guys, who is your favourite slow player on FIFA? Someone with sort of less than 70 pace is probably what people would sort of consider slow. So if you've enjoyed the video, like, comment and subscribe. And yeah. I've got a great, really good silver plated hybrid coming out soon. Uh, I think you're probably going to enjoy it because it's one of my favourite teams that I've built. Cheers for watching, guys. Thanks.